Hi friends. Welcome to the last video on this tutorial series on how to build a blog using Laravel framework. In this video, we are going to test our blog on live server. In previous video, we saw how to deploy Laravel blog project on shared hosting via cPanel. Let's navigate our blog using secure subdomain URL. As you can see, SSL certificate had applied on this subdomain. We can visit every page on our blog with secure URL. Let's go to the admin area. As you can see, we must log in first. Let's log in with admin credentials. Wonderful, we are now in admin dashboard area. Let's go to profile page. Here, I'm trying to change profile picture. Good, profile picture updated successfully. Go to authors and try to add new author on blog. We are going to use this user email address. As you can see, new author has been added to blog. And also, Welcome message received into this created author email address. This is our email account we created in cPanel in previous video. This message contains username, email and password needed for login process. You can access author login page by using this URL. Or simply, you can click on the link given by the welcome message. Once you reach on this page, just use given credentials to login into author dashboard. As you can see, this new author is in profile page. He can change profile picture. You see, the profile picture has changed. Let's see if this author can create new post to this blog.
As you can see, new post has been created by this author. That post added to the author posts list. Let's try to edit this post. Change post title. As you can see, this post has been updated successfully. Back to the admin area. As you can see, that author added to the author's page and author profile picture updated. Admin can change author information throughout this modal. Admin can see all posts of entire blog. This admin can see all posts created by other authors. Admin can filter posts by authors. As you can see, this admin can see all posts from any selected author. Admin can edit and delete a post. Admin can also see his own posts list. Admin can display posts in ascending or descending order. Admin can also add category and subcategory. Let's log out and test forgot password functionality. Suppose author forgot password. Author can click on this I forgot password link. Once author reach on this, he or she must enter registered email in this input field. Let's enter admin email address. This is an admin email account. Click here to send reset password link to this admin email address. As you can see, admin received an email in inbox folder. When admin open this email, he will see this reset password button. To continue resetting password, just click on this reset password button or copy this button URL. Let's paste here in admin browser. After enter that URL, admin redirected to this page. From this page, this user can create new password. As you can see, password has been updated. This author can log in with email and new password. Wonderful, admin logged in again with new password. Friends, we are finished to test our Laravel blog on live server. This is the end of build a blog with Laravel 8 and 9 tutorial series. Thanks to everyone who has been with me from the beginning of this tutorial series to this last video. Thank you for your comments and suggestions, I hope we tried to answer them as best we could. I would also like to thank those who have given us financial support. Thank you very much for your dedication.
You can learn more by visiting our blog website.